me terrible, but I am not alone. Everyone is out today. They're all here. The Lamar haters. The Dan Campbell fraud watch. Everyone is here. The Patrick Mahomes stands. The Brock Purdy stands. They're all together celebrating as one. It is beautiful to see. It's it's incredible, really. Um, it couldn't have gone better. Um, obviously, my picks, one for two on the picks, the Ravens, they really screwed me there. But, you know, with the whole Ravens joke job, I can now renew my membership to the Lamar Jackson Haters Club. All right. He's not top five. All right. Sometimes he's top ten. Sometimes he's just out of it. He ain't top five because of the playoffs. I'll tell you that. Um, I haven't been able to say much about him all year because he's been good. But now that he delivered a beautiful choke job, um, it wasn't even his fault. I mean, yeah, he's he's definitely a lot to blame. Chiefs defense is good too. Um, it, it's also painful when you're the rookie rookie receiver just completely throws the momentum away. I mean, they they had a shot. They had a shot. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, we'll uh, we will let's review. Let's take a look. Um, this game, Chiefs Ravens. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Here we go. There we go. Now we have a winner instead of the two losers. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Chiefs Ravens. Um, it was funny. Lots of scoring early. Kelsey, Addison, or not Addison, Flowers, sorry. <laughs> Pacheco. Early touchdowns. All early touchdowns. 14-7, um, and then just, uh, you know, Chiefs, before the end of the half, they're able to snag that field goal. Um, and then after that, this was a defensive battle. This was. This was defense, man. This was good. This is a great game for defense. Pun, 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 pun. Fumble. Pun. Interception. Pun. Field goal. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Ravens, they really did have a shot. They had a shot. They had a shot. They were there. Um, they just needed a, They needed a, an MVP caliber QB to show up. And, well, they don't have Brock Purdy, so what do you expect? Of course, they were going to lose this one. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's tough. Uh, I really, I mean, the big one was Zay Flowers, the, the fumble at the one. Turns into a touchback. That's same drive. Same drive he had. Big catch. And then called for the, the taunting penalty. <sighs> rookies, man. Rookies. Goddamn rookies. But that's tough. It's tough. It, and then Lamar, after that, he's like, well, I guess I gotta do this myself. And then just chucks it into triple coverage. Could have been. The thing is, you know, maybe maybe there was some pass interference on that play. But he kind of just, he, I think it was likely, you know, he just stopped and then got bumped into. He didn't really make a play for the ball. He was also triple covered. Ball wasn't even gonna get to him. It was a terrible throw. You know, that's what you get when you put running back at QB. Oh, no, I'm kidding. Um, but he can be hearing a lot of that uh, on the interweb. But yeah, uh, not a good throw. Lamar, Lamar was bad. I, I really didn't think he was very good. Um, I mean, Brock Purdy. It felt like Brock Purdy had more first down runs than Lamar. But let's take a look. Two for thirty-seven. Two seventy-two passing. One TD, one pick, eight carries, 54 yards. And that eight carries, that was actually a lot for the Ravens. They didn't run the ball. They didn't run the ball. They've been running the ball all year. Didn't do it in this one. That type of game, I think. Um, but then Carball said it was just that type of game. But I don't know. That They should have ran the ball well, maybe a little more. They just need a little bit more of a mix. Flowers, five catches, 115, and a touchdown. Nelson Aguilar, one catch for 39. But everybody else, you know, here and there, guys caught the ball. But Mark Andrews, he actually had a catch. He played. Good for him. Thought he would have been out for the year. But 
I mean, on the other side, you got Travis Kelsey. 11 catches, 116, touchdown. Pacheco, 68 yards, touchdown. Mahomes, 30 for 39. 241, one touchdown. Mahomes is inevitable. Should have made the pick. Should have made the pick. It's rather unfortunate. But one for two. Got the Niners one. Got the Niners one for sure. But, man, hindsight is a bitch, isn't it? Because you just look at it and it's like, well, of course. Of course Mahomes won. Of course he did it. He's got Andy Reid, he's got Travis Kelsey, he's got even got Pacheco, and he's got a great defense. Of course they won. Of course the Ravens lost. Lamar Jackson doesn't do anything in the playoffs. He's, like, congratulations, Ravens. You, the Ravens, you got Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert, and that's the harsh truth, all right? That's who you got. That's who you got on your team. You have Donovan Mitchell, Rudy Gobert, you're the Jazz from a couple years ago. That's your team. Chiefs? Who do the Chiefs have? Curry. You're not going to win. Not with Donovan Mitchell, not in Ru Rudy Gobert. But that's a hefty take, but we're just we're throwing it out there. I want to see. We'll see. We'll see if that one sticks. <laughs> but, I mean, good, amazing in the regular season. Get to the, the playoffs, and it's like, oh. And then who who they who they beat? The Texans? Texans were good, but they're young. Rookie QB, rookie coach. Destroyed the Browns. The Browns suck. The Browns. The defense led them all year, but the defense also looked like shit at times. I mean, I remember the Colts game. Minshew looked like a boss. Alright. So, we know the Browns' D doesn't always show up, and they got nobody on offense. Joe Flacco. That's not enough. <laughs> so Texans advance, but then, hey, Ravens blew out the Texans, so it's like, all right, maybe they're all right. Maybe they'll be just fine. Nope. No. No, they played a real defense. They played a real defense. This is what happened. This was the result. Um, but, yeah, just, yeah, you know, you can have fun and, you know, make up all the narratives and all the jokes you want, but Ravens, Ravens had a shot in this one. They did. Um... I mean, Lamar fumbled. Say Flowers fumbled. It's tough. It's tough. But uh, they they had a shot. They did. That's but the Chiefs. Chiefs are inevitable. Chiefs are inevitable right now. Shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done it. Ravens are loaded. Ravens defense held them to seventeen. I think that's pretty good. Lamar Lamar gets to twenty. Like that's that's a lot. That's good. You ask your defense to hold the Chiefs to 17, and then you just ask Lamar, hey, get us to 20. All you gotta do, couldn't get it done. 10 points. Unfortunately, they're right there. They're right there. They had a shot. They really did. But it's what it is. 17-10, the Chiefs advance, and now we move on to game number two. 49ers versus the Lions. Excellent stuff here as well. Great game. Quality game. Um, Lions jump out to the lead. Jump out to a nice lead. Touchdown. Jameson Williams, 42-yard run. Opening drive. They, they made a statement with that one. They made a goddamn statement. David Montgomery runs one in late in the first. Uh, McCaffrey touchdown. Jameer Gibbs touchdown. Badgley field goal 24 7 going into the half. Incredible stuff. But we get to get to the second half. Niners field goal. Lions turn one over. Went for it. What was it? Fourth in. That was the fourth and two. Reynolds drop. That was after the Niners got the field goal. That that one, 
That one I thought they should have kicked. That one I, I just, you know, they made they kicked end of the half to go up 17. You could do the same thing. You're up 14 now. After the Niners field, we'll do the same thing. Kick it, go up 17 again. They went for it, didn't get it. Um, and this, I mean, that's how I felt at the time too. So this isn't even like a hindsight thing that I'm just like being a, a jerk for and like making fun of them. I, I thought like, just kick the field goal. I forget how far it was, but I guess Badgley is one of the lower percentage kickers in the league. Actually, it might be the lowest. I don't know. But of course, Niners come right back. Touchdown. Boom. Lions get the ball. Jameer Gibbs. Rookie. Fumble. Niners. Touchdown. Just like that. Just like that. Tie game. Tie game. Lions going to have to punt. Niners. Field goal. Once again, the Lions. They're at the 30. 47-yard field goal. Fourth and three. Could kick it to tie. Campbell went for it. Campbell went for it. I would have kicked it. I would have kicked it. You don't even know if, you know, he could have missed them too. So, it's like, you know, even my genius idea of, oh, kick the field goal, like, could have still missed. Could have missed both. You don't even know. But I would have kicked them. Um, but that's always been his, that's been his thing the last few years. Go, go for it, go for it, go for it. Um, and then just, you know, Niners get the ball back. Of course they score. They just, of course they score. They go up 10. Elijah Mitchell ran one in 70 yard drive. Then you get the Lions. They move the ball. They're able to move the ball. They get all the way down. And then they're struggling to score in the red zone. First and goal. Second and one, third and goal. And they ran it. That one was the weird one. That one was was very weird. Past the first two. Clock stops. And they ran the third. When they had three timeouts, ended up having to blow a timeout just to get this fourth down. They probably, oh man. This one was tough. This one was... You just, you gotta keep throwing. You gotta save the time. And then they did. They threw again. Fourth and goal. They got the timeout. Came up with a play. James Williams. Touchdown. Boom. You're down three. But 50 seconds left. You had three timeouts. Now you have two. Oh, man. It's crazy. The smallest things, the smallest things can be the difference. It's nuts. It's just... It's nuts. And then Niners just had to run, just had to take a couple knees. They ran like the first one, took a bunch of knees. Didn't have to do anything. Of course, they didn't get the outside kick. But that's tough. I mean, the moment he called the timeout. That's tough. Dan Campbell. He ain't it. He's not it. He's not it. Jared Goff actually had a good game. Let's take a look at some box score stuff. Jared Goff, he was, well, 25 for 41. Could be a little better. He, he was fine. He was fine. 273, one touchdown, no picks. Great. I'm taking that all day. Montgomery, 93 yards, touchdown. Gibbs, 45 yards, touchdown. Had the fumble. Jameson Williams had the big rushing touchdown. Laporta, 97. St. Brown, 87 yards. James Williams caught one. Great day for him. On the other side, you got the GOAT, Brock Purdy. 20 for 31, 267, one touchdown, one pick. <laughs> um, yeah, he was solid. And some massive first down runs. Five carries, 48 yards. That's massive. They all came at some pretty big times. <laughs> um, McCaffrey, 90 yards, two touchdowns. Boom. Debo Samuel, 
Didn't even know if he was going to play. 89 yards. Brandon Ayuk, 68 yards. Touchdown. McCaffrey, 42 yards receiving. Kyle Juszczyk. He had that big catch. Kittle. They didn't even need Kittle. They didn't even need Kittle. 27 yards. Crazy stuff. In terms of turnovers, yeah, just the Jameer Gibbs fumble and the Purdy pick. But what a game. This was this one was good. This one was really good. Um it's tough. It's tough. Niners Niners are good, so you want them to advance because you think they could beat the Chiefs, but Lions, what a what a what a year they had. What a year. What a year. What a year. But unfortunately, they will win just as many Super Bowls this year as the Patriots. That's a little that's that's a little unfortunate, you know, when you really think about it. But this was hey man, that's that's the league right there. That's the league. Thirty one teams lose. Thirty one teams end of the year. But, you know, it's a journey for everybody. They just uh they just enjoy it and they get paid. This is just work. It's just these guys doing their jobs playing the game but in terms of Super Bowls yeah one team one team every year wins it and yeah, as good as the Niners and Chiefs looked one of them one of them's gonna be a loser in two weeks I don't know I don't think either of those teams has, has anything to prove though honestly I, that's I mean that's usually what happens when you make the Super Bowl it's like oh okay you're good you're pretty good you got nothing to prove, but a Niners Chiefs rematch, a rematch of uh, rematch of uh, 2019 2020 season. Except no Jimmy G, they got they got a they got a real QB now. They got a real one, but yeah, there will be a preview. There's going to be a preview video. I don't even know if I'll. I don't know what to do. Preview video this week. Or next week. Probably next week. Maybe I'll just mess around with mock drafts until then. Who knows? I don't know what I'm going to do, but something will happen. Two more weeks left. One more game. Pro Bowl games. No, I'm not watching those. I've, the Pro Bowl sucks. That's okay. But, yeah, this is it. Two teams left. <laughs>